In this tutorial, I will be explaining how you can deploy your own Spark NLP image to an OpenShift cluster. This is our organization in GitHub that is called Johnson Labs. And from here, I'm going to go to our uh, Spark NLP workshop repo, platforms, then OpenShift. Instructions are written by me, and I am going to follow them step by step. So the first thing I'm, I need to do is cloning this repo and after cloning i need to add my license keys in the required fields otherwise i may, i may not be able to install the library after doing it i'm pushing it to my own github account that is my own private repo first thing i need to do is I need to use OpenShift CLI so that I can log in and use the OC commands. So I already logged in and I'm not going to do it here. So I'm starting with using my private repo that I created. And I also created a source secret here. I, I'll just explain it, how you can do that. I'm running this command. Basically, I need this JSL source source secret so that the cluster can have access to my private repo. And to do this, we need to come the UI of OpenShift. Then from on the left hand side there are there's the secret parts, the secrets. from here create then source secret you can put your default name or anything and um, i basically need to add a user who can have an access to that private repo i've already done this so i'm not going to do it again i just cancel and my jsl source are, is visible so let's come to the command prompt sorry i'm using powershell um, I run the first command and in the first command the everything is created and it returns a success result so it looks good to check it from the ui i can come to pods and as you can see the pod is running this image like this is for this pod is for building the image after a while, after it's completed, completed, you can also observe the memory usage. After it's completed, it's going to create another pod, and that pod is going to be for serving, like for, you know, for example, Fast API. Uh, I'm clicking on the pod. I'm coming to the logs, and in the logs, I can installing the libraries, and as you can see, creating the Conda environment, and I, I can also check the events. So the only thing, I mean. From now, like right now, everything looks good. I need to wait for a while so that it completes building. So the build is done, and there's another container appearing, and that is this is for serving. So we basically exposed a port. This container is running and serving through that port. Now we can apply some tests to see if it's working properly or not. So we get this output earlier, and now we need to expose it. Copy this. It is exposed. And let's check the status now. This URL, we are going to need this one. I'm copying also this. And I'm going to use the curl command is explained. Copying this URL and I'm going to type spark because this is some of the functions I wrote. Uh, apparently it's working. The versions are visible. So let's check the pre-trained pipeline. 
that's that per train pipeline test function and when we curl it yep it is returning the available in ER models so this is working smoothly and if you have any questions or queries please let us know good luck